Well, hey guys, I'm Pastor Lynn from North Park Church in Columbus, Nebraska, and I am really happy to be sharing with you in our life groups this week. We're in a series called Tough Stuff, and this series is about uh, the difficult things that are going on in our society today, the controversial subjects where the, the country, in many cases society, is divided over an, uh, an item, perhaps a news item, perhaps a uh, legislative item. Uh, right now, in, in this particular um, session, we're talking about uh, pro-life or pro-choice. We're talking about the abortion issue. This is a really difficult subject. Some of you will turn it off right now. And the reason is that perhaps you are hurt or have been personally involved in, uh, in this issue. It has touched many of us, for sure. Abortion is so common. Uh, I'm aware that uh, the people that I'm talking to right now, um, many have probably been touched, been hurt by this subject. They've had a difficult time for one reason or another. Maybe you've had an abortion. Maybe you've uh, forced someone to have an abortion. Maybe you have um, counseled someone to have an abortion, but I feel that as we talk about these tough stuff subjects, hopefully we can get the Word of God as, as the central decision point, the, 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 the point where we decide what's important and what's not, uh, <clears throat> or how we view things. And, and, uh, and so, you know, maybe the truth from God's Word will help somebody to choose not to have an abortion or to counsel somebody not to have an abortion. Um, and even though it's a very painful thing, you know, often healing does come, think about this, healing does come from calling something what it is instead of what it's not. For example, it's, frankly, according to Scripture, it, it's not a, a choice. I'm sorry, it's not a, a choice. It, it's a life. And so... Uh, when we hear the truth from God's Word, we call it what it is, and we seek forgiveness, rather than just burying something, we can actually have healing uh, in that area of our lives. So I hope that that's the case for those of you who really struggle with this subject. Now, we're going to use Psalm chapter 139, verses 13 to 18, uh, for this uh, subject in our life groups. And so I'll tell you this story very uh, right from Scripture, I'll, I'll read it to you. Afterward, somebody will retell the story as best they can from memory. Everybody else will add in what they might have missed. Okay, here's how this goes. For you formed me uh, in my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written, every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when as yet there was none of them. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! If I would count them, they are more than the sand. I awake, and I am still with you. Psalm 139, verses 13 to 18. What a great passage. Um, so go ahead, somebody volunteer, retell that as best you can. You're going to miss a lot of it. It's a tough one to, to try to do from memory. But then everybody else, add in what they might have missed, and we'll get this whole passage kind of into our hearts and our heads. And go ahead and get back to me in a moment for discussion questions. Well, as far as discussion questions go, the first one is this. Uh, let me frame this up for you just a little bit. We want to be sure that uh, we understand that there may be all sorts of backgrounds and ideas coming into our life groups and certainly into our church. And so the question, question number one is, have you historically been pro-life or pro-choice? And why have you landed there in the past? Go ahead and talk about that, please.
Well, you know, often we think of conception and the and gestation, you know, the growth of a baby in its mother as a scientific thing. There's so many scientific things about it that are discussed. Question two, though, is this. In our text here that we just read at Psalm 139, how does God describe the gestation process of a baby? What's his description of it? How does he say it comes about, and, and what does it look like to him? So go ahead and talk about that, please. And question three, then, what parts of a person's life are planned by God in advance? Look carefully at the text, pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help you understand and, and to understand what the scripture says. What parts of a person's life are planned by God in advance? Uh, how does the text state this? All right, talk that over, please. All right, well, looking back at questions two and three, question four is this, why are these things significant? So if we go back to question two, how does the text describe uh, the gestation period of a baby? Um, how does God talk about that? And then question three, what parts of a person's life are planned by God in advance? Okay, you've talked about those things. Question four, why are those things significant? Why are they a big deal? Why does God talk about them here in Psalm 139? Why are they important? All right, talk that over, please. Well, our takeaway question, question number five is, what uh, is it that God wants you to walk away from your life group with this week? What's the big ticket item that he wants you to continue to hash out with him and work out with him uh, after your life group is over and you walk away? Well, I pray that uh, this is the, such an important subject that I really pray that um, we would not only be incredibly compassionate as a church uh, toward people who are suffering and dealing with uh, this issue, but then also that we would be very clear on what it is that God's Word says about this and land on His Word for our decisions, for our understanding of things. Well, God bless you guys. You have uh, the rest of a great life group, and I'll see you soon.